Aloha everybody, what is really good my dudes? Today is January 20th, 2020 and we got another RuneScape update for y'all. Today is another patch week right before the release of the PVM hub. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Let's go. Cats is the illest. What you talking about, Willis? All right, guys, before we jump into the patch notes themselves, I just want to mention there have been some changes to Wars Retreat right before the release next week based on player feedback. So hopefully some of you guys were going to like some of these changes. So first off, we got some completionist cape requirements. JK says they agree that significant chunks of the content should have associated comp requirements. With that in mind, Wars Retreat will now come with four new achievements. Aura, Aura, Aura. Unlock every aura in the Wars Retreat store. Relight my fire, fully upgrade the campfire, and to unlock the completion escape you'll need to complete my last resort, unlock the Wars Retreat Teleport, a second boss portal, the Altar of War, and the Adrenaline Crystals. In addition, to get the Trim Comp Cape you need to complete the achievement War, What Is It Good For, which you will receive after completing the previous three achievements. Also important to note that with the introduction of Vampirism, Dark Magic, and the Zerker Auras, at midnight on January 26th, that's the following day before the update, those Auras are going to get removed from Solomon General Store and added to the Reward Store in Wars Retreat. You're going to keep any Auras you already have purchased with Loyalty Points, and they'll automatically count towards the Aura 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 achievements. Unfortunately, they're not going to be refunding any Loyalty Points this time. In addition, when they launch Wars Retreat next week on the 27th, they're going to be giving bonus Reaper points. So from the launch until February 10th, you will gain 50% extra Reaper points to all completed Reaper assignments. So no better time to be doing Reaper next week. So those are all the changes since we last talked about Wars Retreat. We're going to shift on over to the patch notes now and see exactly what's been changed there. So let's go ahead and check it out. For combat, Intercept can now be refreshed on a target already affected by the spell. Clue scrolls. Clues will automatically go into Charos's clue carrier if the player's inventory is full. Clue scroll NPCs will now remind you that you also need the original clue when handing in a puzzle. One graphic change is that you can now get closer to an object before it will fade out when in free camera mode and cutscenes. Moving on to interface changes, fixed an issue graying out gather buttons in player owned farms, modernized the look of the banking perk interface on legendary pets, clan event notice board information drop downs now populate upon first selection, fixed a bug where the monster examine spell gave the wrong life points total when dealing with certain modified versions of monsters. The free cam option has been moved to the compass menu. They've added descriptive text to the following items to better explain the new teleport functions. The arc journal, the manifest journal, and the globe trotter arm guards. Moving on to mobile changes. Fix stronghold of security interface slash dialogue window overlap on mobile. Resolve the problem with the ordering of options when long pressing on the summoning globe from the mobile HUD. They have moved extra options from the world map top level interface into some others. Open world select has been moved into home teleport menu. Free cam has been removed as it's unavailable on mobile. And skybox and filters have been moved into the mini map toggle menu. Moving on to skilling changes. Demon cluster task assignment now counts imps as demons. Doing damage through recoils can now be utilized to progress a variety of slayer tasks that previously could not be progressed in this manner. Fixed an issue stopping death from allowing players to reroll reaper tasks. Can now continue to pick phoenix feathers with the skill cape perk active while having a noted feather and no remaining free inventory slots. Couple of textual changes. Text no longer overflows into the next dialogue box when investigating QBD entrance. All misses exam text typo has been corrected and examine text has been changed on tier 1 spa and anachronia. Moving on to some other changes, you can no longer equip broken Cinderbane gloves from the bank and used Cinderbane gloves now drop in PvP. And finally the mushroom patch in Taranrin slash Izafdar now takes players to the correct skill guide location. That's it for your patch notes, links to everything discussed in this video will be down in the description below. If you want to check them out, go over there and do so. With that, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed yet and you want to stay up to date on all things related, hit the subscribe button. Anyways, I appreciate you watching. I am out. Aloha.